Hey guys, good morning from Southern Nevada. Hey, you know, I thought I'd break out my Henry US Survival rifle, otherwise known as an AR-7. Thought I'd break it out and do a two-year update on it. Um, I have several videos already on YouTube on this, but you know, and I get a lot of comments on my two videos, and most of them are positive. There are a couple of complaints about this rifle, so I want to go over those today. And one is the, the uh, front sight, and the other is reliability. So you know what? Right now, let's just put this together. You know, if you've never seen one of these, they're actually pretty unique. I mean, everything fits right here in the stock. So we're going to pull this off. And look at that. Everything fits right inside there. There is a 16-inch barrel. And the receiver. That's kind of cool. I mean, everything, I mean, nothing is going to fall out, so that's pretty cool. And it does come with two eight round magazines that fit in the uh, buttstock. And if you buy a third magazine, you can actually store this with the magazine installed. So you can have three loaded magazines ready to go. You know, before I put this together, let's take a look at the barrel. 16 inch long barrel. And the outer sleeve here is plastic. And it has a inner sleeve, metal sleeve, which is actually the barrel, obviously. But a lot of complaints on the front sight. And it is plastic. And it is pretty wide for a front sight. So again, a lot of complaints. The main complaint is, um, the front sight coming loose. Now mine's never come loose. It's on there nice and tight. But there are a couple of options if you have a problem with your front sight. One, put a little Loctite on it. And that will probably take care of the issue. And you can also get uh, replacement front sights. So really that front sight is no big deal. Alright, let's put her together here. So I'm going to take the receiver. Put it in just like that. You got a big knob right here. Snug it. All right, on the barrel. Got a little steel pin right here, and it's going to fit right in this notch right here. Get back here. Snug this down. Okay, look at that, huh? Charging handle. Have the safety right here. It has uh, very crude sights on it. You can uh, see it has a peep sight here. And of course the, uh, the front sight. Two eight round magazines. Slap one in there. Charge it, take the safety off. And you're ready to fire. Okay, so let's talk about reliability. But before we do, let me show you the magazine release on this, which is right in front of the trigger guard, or right in front of the trigger. Just push on that and the magazine pops out. You know, over the decades, and again, this came out in 1959, and I think at least four companies have actually made this, but over the decades, there's been a lot of complaints about the reliability. Now, Henry has said that they made some changes to it. They redesigned the magazine, and they took care of the uh, reliability problem. Now, honestly, I've never had a problem with mine, but a lot of my viewers, or I should say some of them, do have a problem with their brand new Henry. So let's uh, go over that real quick. Now, when you have a problem with a 22 rimfire firearm, most likely it's because it's dirty and needs to be cleaned and lubed. But if that's not the problem, then most likely it's the magazines. But if, if you have a new gun with Henry magazines and you're still having a problem, you know, it could be something mechanical, ejector, extractor. This uses two recoil springs. It could have a bad spring in it, but most likely it's going to be the ammunition. So today we're going to shoot four different brands through this. 
Two of them I've never shot through this, so anxious to see how they're going to do. So let me show you the ammunition, and then uh, we'll start putting some rounds through this and see if uh, I have any problems with it. I have some Federal Auto Match 40 grain round lead nose, Winchester Super X 40 grain copper plated round nose, Remington Golden Bullet, another 40 grain uh, plated bullet, CCI Mini Mag, these are a 36 grain hollow point, and I have CCI Stinger 32 grain. I've never shot the Remington or the Stingers through this, so anxious to see what's going to happen. So let's get started. Hey, before we get uh, shooting this, I do want to mention you can put a scope on this. It, it is grooved for a scope, but you have to use 22 uh, tip-off mounts, which uh, this is a 3 8 groove. Uh, of course, if you put a scope or a red dot on this, it's not going to fit in the buttstock, obviously, but something to consider. I've had a scope on this before and it's really quite accurate. Alright, so we're going to start off with 16 rounds of CCI Mini Mag. Shooting a little low. And it does not lock back on the last round. Sixteen rounds of Federal Auto Match. Now I did a review on this ammo a few months ago and had a lot of problems with it, so let's see what happens. Had one round there sounded kind of low powered. Got a misfire. Gonna wait about 10 seconds. Yeah, I had a lot of misfires when I reviewed this ammo and I shot it out of four or five different guns. It, the round is still in the magazine. It didn't feed. I had a lot of rounds that just sounded underpowered. All right. All right, you know what? Let's try this stinger ammo. I think we're all kind of anxious to see if it's going to work. A lot of guns don't like stinger ammo. 16 rounds, hopefully. Wow. Perfect. All 16. Looks like they had about the same point of impact. Remington Golden Bullet. Again, I have not used this in this rifle, so let's see what happens. 16 rounds. Should have counted those. All right, perfect. Hey, so far so good, huh? Winchester Super X. Now I gotta be honest with you. 
I've really been disappointed in Winchester 22 ammo lately. It just seems like quality control just really went downhill. So wish me luck on this Winchester. How about that? Maybe I got a good batch this time. You know what? Hey, you know what? I got one more brand of ammo I want to shoot. I'll be right back. All right, you know what? I have some Federal Punch. And uh, I don't have too many rounds of this, so I'm only going to fire eight rounds. Let's see what happens. Wow. You know, I was really impressed with this little rifle. Let's set up some steel and have a little fun. You know, this is a survival rifle, and I'm getting hungry. And there's three cottontail rabbits sitting right over there. Let's see if I'm going to be eating lunch today. Yeah! All I need now is some hominy and boiled peanuts. <laughs> All right, next I want to check velocity out of this 16-inch barrel. And I'm going to be shooting the CCI Mini Mag rated at 1,260 feet per second. And just for comparison, I'm going to use this Ruger Mark II. And this has a 4 and 3 quarter inch barrel. So let me get everything turned on and set up and uh, we'll start shooting. All right, three rounds of CCI. Twelve hundred even. Eleven eighty seven. Twelve sixteen. That's pretty consistent. Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety. Wow, 995. That's pretty awesome. I do like CCI ammo. Hey, let's take a break just for a moment. Let's talk about the gun itself. If you look right here, you notice the barrel and receiver are not in line with the stock. It kind of offsets a little bit. And that's so that barrel can come up through here. So that's kind of... You have to kind of get used to that. And another thing too, look how fat that grip is. So if you have small hands, you're probably not going to like this. And the length of pull on this is 14 inches. So it's definitely made for a full-size adult. Field stripping. Very, very easy with this. All you have to do is make sure the hammer's cocked, safety is on. And reach in here and push on the uh, face of the bolt and pull it back just a little bit so you can pull out the charging handle. And then what I like to do is just point this down, come straight up, just like that. And you can take out your two recoil springs and your spring guide. Now this guide, you'll notice it has a slot in it. Now when it comes out, or in fact when it goes back in, um, it has to come past the, uh, the hammer right there, and it also comes past the uh, ejector right there. So that's why this slot is in here. And sometimes this piece will get hung up inside here, and you've got to kind of wiggle it to get it out. When I clean my bolt, I use a nice clean cloth. I use a nylon brush, and I just scrub it down real good. And you really want to get underneath the extractor right here. Just get that real good. Get it nice and clean. 
Now all I'm going to do now is lube it and I like this Lucas oil and I do have some in here just to make it easier to apply but if you look at the bolt you can see where it rubs inside the uh, receiver and that's where I want to make sure I put some oil and you know what it doesn't take very much just a little bit you know most guys tend to over lube their firearms but you can see I'm not using too much here and really that's all it takes and we're gonna put it back in pop in the recoil springs I don't have my glasses on so alright just kinda twist that a little bit straighten it up push the bolt in line up with the hole here and that's it that's all you have to do to uh, take this apart and clean it on the barrel you know all I do is I wipe it down real good I take my nylon brush and I clean it real good and I make sure I get the extractor groove right here get that really good and then all I do is I take a wire brush, 22 caliber of course, and I clean out my chamber real good. And then I will take this and I will run it through the bore several times. And you know what? That's it. That's all I do to, to keep this thing running really good. And if you're watching the video, you know it's very reliable, very simple to, to maintain. Okay dinner time got a rabbit out there a nice big snowshoe rabbit out there about 50 yards let's see if I'm gonna be eating dinner tonight yeah you know what I think I have one round in here <laughs> okay guys final thoughts tell you what I like the rifle I'm glad I bought it put a lot of rounds through it today and I just had that one round that failed to feed and that was at federal auto match and that does that all the time so I'm gonna blame the ammo you take that out that one round out this thing has just been a hundred percent reliable today if you're having a problem first thing I recommend is clean that chamber really good run a, uh, a brush down through it clean that chamber put a little oil on the on the bolt and that will probably take care of the problem if not shoot some of the ammo I was shooting today and see what happens if your guns clean you're using good ammo and you still have a problem most likely it's gonna be the magazine anyways guys I want to thank you for watching my video and uh, hit that like button hit that bell notification and let's see if I'm going to have breakfast in the morning. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.